Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jimmy Two Tech channel. It is tool time out here today, and today I want to show you what I got for Christmas. It's been a while, I'm just getting a chance to mess with it. It is a DeWalt DCP580B. It is a portable brushless hand planer. I've been wanting one of these for a while. My kids got me this for Christmas. So we're, uh, we're gonna open this together. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Then we'll do a couple passes on a uh, piece of wood, see how it makes it look. Um, on this tool here, the max depth on this, you can go as two millimeters, which is 5 64th of an inch. So that should be more than enough if you're trying to surface something, getting something level. It's better than a hand plane sometimes. Uh, we got the bare tool, obviously, because I have lots of DeWalt batteries. So well, let's get this busted open, see what we got inside, and then give it a quick try. I don't want to hold you guys up. All right, well, let's get this thing opened up. I know we're opening DeWalt, but we got a Milwaukee tool or a knife, but this is a very handy knife. If you guys ain't got one, pick one of these up. Durable. Unless you live in one of those states where they won't ship it to you. I had that problem once. All right, first thing you get in here is your DeWalt book. Set that here to the side. Check out some packaging. You have your, your guide right here when you're doing the edge. So you're gonna want that. And here is your planer. What else we got here? Something rattling in there. Oh, here's your your tool, I guess, to change your blade depth or your blades, and then the other guide. But that's it, guys. Look at that. Pretty simple. That's the business end of this. Make sure you don't put nothing near that. I thought it came with a dust collection thing, but it doesn't appear to. But all your pieces will jump out of there. You can put it to a dust collection if you're using it there. Um, you can lock and unlock your, your blades. And then here's where you can adjust. See if you guys can see that. On here is where you adjust your depth by turning this to get how deep you want it and everything like that. It has the uh, chamfer in there, so you can, or the groove in there, so you can put the chamfered edges. So like if you're going on the edge of a piece of wood, you can run it right along that, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna try all that here in a second. Other than that, it's pretty simple. It's got a nice machine surface on here. Nice machine surface, so it'll give, go smooth across here and give you a nice level thing. So uh, it does come with the tool built into the handle like a lot of the DeWalt tools do. But that's basically it. It has a belt drive in here, which uh, will give you a longer life on that because it has the upgraded belt. So let's get this thing out, put the battery in. Give it our first hit. It's quieter than I thought. But here, let's see, you guys can see the blade. And that blade turns at 30,000 revolutions a minute, I think. So it'll give you a nice clean cut. I don't know how deep that is right now. Looks like it's more than we're gonna want. So let's turn this down a little bit. sweet look at that this is all i mean i was a little deeper than i need to be but it's it cut that without slowing down this side here is all rough this is super smooth nice clean surface on that hey if you want to make mulch this thing tears it up let's try the edge now we're gonna use that chamfer on there or that groove to make a chamfered edge You guys see that? Look at that nice edge on there. So the groove works pretty good too. I do have it going a little deeper than it probably needs to be on most, most things. If your wood's really warped, you might want to go deeper, but like I said, you can just adjust your dial to go less of a cut. Let's see what, if that's less there. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's less coming out, but still that blade is nice. Nice, super smooth. This is going to be nice when I'm building like decks or something around here or porches. This will make the wood nice. I mean, I wish you guys could feel that. That is super smooth compared to what's here in the center. So, 
All right, now I'm gonna show you guys what to use this for. This is your edge guard thing. In the side of your tool, you got the hole there. Just make sure your uh, set screw is loosened. You put this inside. It's got one flat edge, so you can't really mess that up. And then you, you figure out where you want it in relation to the wood. Let's flip this over so we got a nice clean side. We wanna get just this edge done. We put it into there, and then we'll tighten this down like that and that gives us a nice nice surface to go against when we're running this so let's give this a quick try here so it held our edge while we did that which you guys can see that we hold it up against there you can see the wood's more bent on this side so we need to go a little deeper, more past this, but it started to level this out. But again, you can put this different depths if you only want to get the center or you only get, look, you can go, if you only want to get a little bit of an edge, you could do that too. But that's a handy tool to have if you're trying to keep a nice smooth edge. Inside here, I don't know if you guys can see it, there is the belt, you can see the belt in there. So you can maintain that and as you rotate it, you got your blades, they're pretty easy to change. That's what that tool is in the handle. So you can get to the, let's take the battery out of here. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want any power there. Uh, that, so you can get to these, well, you can change your blades out. Um, you can see those. There's a couple blades. Like I said, 30,000 rotations a minute. Gives you a nice clean cut on there. <clears throat> Can't hurt to have that. Plus you got that handle in the front to help you get along with that. Of course, like with most of the DeWalt tools, you also have the safety here where you you can't press the trigger until you press that down at the same time, which is a good safety feature on that. On the back side here, you have this little thing shows lock and unlock. You just turn that to unlock, open it. This gives you two spots for additional blade storage. If you want to get different kind, they got steel blades, carbide blades. You can store two of them in here so you have them with you if you want to switch them out. That's nice to have. And that other tool that came with it, this will also allow you to change the blades. That goes right on there. So you can get those out to change the blade to loosen them up. And like I said, that tool in the handle, you can see the end of that fits inside of these. So you can use those as well. So it gives you a couple different methods of getting it out. In case you ain't got that tool with you, you got that in the handle, you get your blade switched out, but overall pretty nice tool. That's pretty much, pretty much this tool. I mean, it's a pretty awesome tool. If you guys are doing any kind of work where you're building the deck or steps or anything where you're nice, a nice clean surface, or maybe it's wood that you're gonna you're gonna refinish, make a nice table or something. You want one of these to put a nice surface on it to start. You're not gonna be disappointed in this thing at all. So with that being said, guys, if you guys have any questions on this, give us a shout in the comments down below. We'll get back to it, uh, let you know what we know. And then uh, we will probably play with this a lot more here off camera. So we'll know a lot more about it. Uh, we will leave a link to this down below if you're interested in one. They do run sales on them all the time. You just keep checking like Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, but I'll leave a link to it down below. You guys can keep an eye on it. All right, guys, like I said, I will leave links to this down below if you guys are interested. Um, if you don't mind, also while you're down below there, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when we post a video, you don't wanna miss any of that. Head on over to our webpage. You'll, we'll leave the link to that down below. That's our new webpage that lets you know what's going on in the Jimmy Two Tech channel and I'll show you our current video we have out. Also, I wanna give you guys a note. If you guys get any notifications or anything about contests or anything like that, that's not us. We won't ever contact you that way. If we did, it'd be through a private message. It wouldn't be in the comments section. It wouldn't be in an email unless we already previously set that up. So there has been a lot of that going around. So disregard that, that's not us. Of course, there's a lot of that going around all the channels these days. Just note that if you see it down in the comments section, contact us, you want some, that's not us either. Cause I have seen some of those in there. I'm trying to delete them, but that is not us also, so please keep an eye out for that. Um, with all that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys watching, and until next time, try something new.